Now's the part where we do some ghost hunting, because of course, I mean, that's you what this to. whole thing is about, right? You're not gonna be in a graveyard at night without doing some ghost hunting, especially when that graveyard is supposed to be haunted. Now, there are two ghosts that are supposed to be here, uh, a ghost named Jeff and a ghost named Kyle, if I remember correctly. I believe they're both younger ghosts. What's weird is uh, none of the victims of the sanitarium were named Jeff or Kyle, mm -hmm. and we didn't see that name on any of these graves. Now, that doesn't mean they don't exist. There are um, a lot of broken graves, and of yeah. course, you know, I don't know, Once would you be mad if I would be broken? pretty mad. That would be one of the few things that I might just get up out of my grave about. Yeah, 100%. I'm just saying. So, we're going to see if uh, we can get them to interact with us. Now, to be fair, if they don't, there are, the stories differ. Some say they're here. Some say they're over by the sanitarium. Uh, either way, we're in a graveyard. Let's try it. And we've, so, we've got some tragic young deaths here. Yeah, and the yeah, there are plenty the of forest right now. Yeah, it's a whole thing, man. So I have right here with me a uh, EMF reader. It tells us the temperature, so if we get hit with a cold spot, uh, we'll know. Let me turn on the backlight. All right, there we go. Put that there. If it goes too high, we'll start beeping. Mm-hmm. And uh, well, we're good. It's not fluctuating at all yeah. right there right now. It's at zero, 75 degrees, and uh, yeah. It's not, uh... We did test it we to did. make sure that it worked. That is true. So, uh, do you want to start with the first question? See if we get anyone to come to us. Oh, questions to the ghosts themselves, you mean? Oh, yeah, why not? Yeah, go question the ghosts. Get them over here. Be like, hey, answer me. Or are you mad that you're dead? I guess I got the first All right, question. All right, my, my first question <laughs> is, uh, Maria Helgeson, Ooh. over back that away, Ooh. died at 13. What did you die of? Was it particularly tragic? I mean, it's always tragic when you're that young, but it was in a particularly uh, uproarious time. Mm. What was the name? Maria Helgus. Maria. Maria, if you're here tonight, do you mind uh, coming out and talking to us? We're pretty close to where you're buried. We have a device here. Uh, it's got a little green light on it. If you come and talk to that little green light, uh, we'll be able to detect that you are here. We may not be able to hear what you're saying. Uh, if you want to be heard, there is a light. There's a microphone that might be able Hold to pick up. that up, right? There's movement behind us. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. Yeah, movement yeah. over so, there. Movement over there. Yeah. Probably animals, but probably, definitely breaking yeah, it, probably, yeah. at least as big as a raccoon. Yeah. It's not, it's not a small animal. Uh, all right. Uh, Maria? If that was you, can you walk closer? Do you maintain social distancing, though, Maria? Yeah, yeah, no, six feet. Yeah, it's a whole thing. Yeah, hell, which some is of why the people we're in on... this graveyard are probably very familiar with that concept. Uh, yeah, there are some that were uh, that died around the time of the uh, Spanish flu. So yeah, we had one that would have been in the first wave, and uh, one more that was in the devastating second wave. Yeah. Meanwhile, I'm touching my face. <laughs> is there anyone here who died during the Spanish flu that has some uh, some tips for us uh, as we go through this COVID thing? Mm -hmm. uh, we're maintaining distance. We're on either side of this uh, this grave right here. Breathing. Uh, yeah, breathing in opposite directions. But do any of you who died during that time or uh, during that time and of the Spanish flu have tips for us and for, you know, the world in general? If you do, if you could come here talk to us mm -hmm. there's a camera right there if you talk close to that camera we might be able to hear you um please you, form an orderly queue. yeah form an orderly queue six feet apart but uh if you come to this green light we'll be able to detect you oh, i just saw i think just my eyeballs playing tricks on me <laughs> no I'm, I'm dead i'm no i've got a light right here right uh and i think my eyes just refocused or uh adjusted well that's the thing because of the light setup right now we can't see, we can't even see anything. six inches past the lights. Yeah, so uh, a lot of people use infrared cameras for their ghost hunting. Uh, I don't have an infrared camera. I spent good money on this camera. And I thought, you know what? I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna rock it. And I feel like the infrared uh, aesthetic is is overdone anyway. Ooh, I got a question. Oh, go for it. The Scar family. Ooh, yes. Uh, if that was, I'm pretty sure it was the Scar family. You remember the one I'm talking about with the uh, three names on the... Yes. 
that one I'm really I would love to know it almost seems like an impolite question what was it like for the uh, father to have to bury his Ooh. wife and daughter was that over difficult? the years in the same plot was it difficult burying your wife and daughter we have to imagine yes, so it I almost mean, seems yeah, like an odd question, but, be yes, but that was could... one of the ones I was most interested by. Yeah. No, I hated them the entire time. <laughs> Good riddance. Don't, don't haunt me. Don't, <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't mean it. I'm going to call out Jeff and Kyle. Okay. I just feel like, why would, Jeff, can't, they can't really be named Jeff. Let me look this up. Because that's too modern. Like, who? It yes, hello, like I'm it. Kyle. I was born in 1899. Like, there's no way. There's <laughs> right. no way. Ooh, you hear that? Mm -hmm. So we're being cautious about us, like saying oh, it's a ghost, because no, the, that that was definitely an animal. Yeah, that was an animal, right? So in the distance, things get are a little weird. But there's the road around us. Um, when cars drive on it, it yeah, that is an animal. Uh, the the audio or not the audio, the sound of the the car gets kind of weird mm -hmm. uh, around the bend. It makes a sort of ghostly oh, sound. Oh, yeah, so a little bit of a howl maybe that's, coming through the valley. Yeah, maybe that's what people are hearing. Or, or well, there's also about three feet into the bushes right there. Right. So maybe ten feet from me, there is an animal that keeps walking back and forth. <laughs> I'm glad you're on that side. <laughs> yeah, Jeff and Kyle. Spirits of many patients haunt the grounds, including young boys, Jeff and Kyle. Well... Uh, if any of you that are haunting these grounds, uh, or those grounds, or come over here to visit, I don't know, if yeah. you could come up and talk to us. If, if it happens to be that you can, you know, travel that quickly and hear us from yeah, there, you, know, you can come over. I don't know how the spirit world works, but uh, Jeff, uh, can you come talk to us, please? Uh, tell us who you are. Uh, move a rock. That would be nice. I throw it right in my face. I got, I got a face that, you know... <laughs> people, I'm, there are people that want to throw rocks in my face. Oh yeah, it's no, true. it's been demonstrated. It, yes, uh, someone yesterday threw a bottle at my face. This is not. This is true. This is absolutely true. Uh, so I'm used to it, man. Uh, they missed. So if you would prefer to, you know, show them up a little bit, go for it. <laughs> Nothing too big, though. This is my money maker. Also, do please, if you're going to do that, also get within range of the EMF reader. Oh so yeah, that we yeah, can yeah. Guarantee that it wasn't just one of his many enemies. That I bet snuck you can't throw him. that far anyway. <laughs> uh, Kyle, same offer. Come say hi. We got, we got a thing that will show us that you're here. We've got beer. We have, we do have beer. You were, you were a young kid, from what I hear. Uh, you wouldn't have been able to have beer. I. Uh, Another Try question. Mm -hmm. Did they let you have beer at that age at that time? Good point. Not legally, obviously, but... Well, uh, yeah, because that would have been Prohibition time, right? No, that would have been... Uh, nah, you're right. before this Prohibition. Is, this is before Prohibition. I mean, not that we know when they died. Oh, that's true. Yeah, sorry. That I, was going off of the, I was going off of the era of the uh, sanitarium. True, 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 true. Um, hmm. mosquitoes i'm not comfortable sharing the beer with the infant yeah that ghosts. would be weird yeah yeah oh there are a lot of coyotes out there yeah which is making me slightly nervous about the large animal sounds around us i'll punch a coyote in the face i don't even care well i'm i wouldn't be very afraid of uh a couple coyotes oh sure but, but a pack? if i'm sitting down when they come out of the bushes yeah that's gonna be a problem but hey what a video that would make, right? Yep. As long as your camera survives it. Yeah. Oh, man, that rumble. Of the, of the car coming down the road? Oh. I hope. Yeah, I hope that's a really big car. The bear just growling. Oh, God, a bear big enough that its growl, like, slightly shakes the ground. <sighs> what else we got? I mean, we're fairly limited on equipment. Uh... Small location. Mm -hmm. Pretty cool equipment, though. Oh, yeah, no, it's nice. You got red lights and blue lights and very real flame candles. Yes, very real, very real. I spent a whole 50 cents per can. I have no idea how much it costs. They're very cheap. I, I was thinking, why not real candles? But at the same time, eh, 
You know who we I, should probably ask a question to? Yeah. The person that we're leaning on. Oh, yeah. I didn't even... Uh, Carlson? Hey, hey uh, my boy Carlson here. Oh, yeah, that's the one that... Um, the details are over here. Yeah. I mean, come reach out of the ground and grab me. Please don't do that. that and this is the weird one, because that says Carlson, and this says Carl Ender. There but, might be two different... I don't know, man. And they've got a family seal, really, like, artfully crafted. It is very crafted. nice, isn't it? It's, it I'd show you, but it's... It's a little hard faded. to make out, even... Real faded. Uh, you know, even with your eyes right here. Yeah, the here, camera's not going to be able to see it. it Come down here yourself. February 8th, 1882 through August 1908. So, yeah, and that was not very old. So, that was around the time, right? Yeah, that's that's during the time. That, that That's the very beginning of the time that you told me to so look did for. You, did, you, uh, did you happen to know about Starvation Heights? Was this something you were familiar with uh, before you died? Was this something that people knew about in this area? But I imagine you're from this area. Oh, uh, Maria, why is it Helga son and not Helga daughter? Yeah, Maria. Riddle us that. Or don't. You're dead. <laughs> you want to break out the cake? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you're going to survive on your own? You're we'll find out. We'll find out. I'm going to keep the camera on. You keep asking questions. All right, so we're just going to establish real quick. Ghosts, welcome. Coyotes, not. Please stay away. Let's see, other questions. Oh, there was one group, there was one gravestone that had um, two names and three dates. It only had, uh, and it was the same uh, date for the top one. Under one name, it said, this day through the exact same day. And then below it, it only had one set of dates that was like 20 years later. Was that a pair of twins and one of you died in childbirth? The buzzing of the mosquitoes is also when it's not quite next to your head, but it's just a little bit away. Oh my God, that's him. There's a light just floating and bouncing out in the distance. Bouncing like this, like a will of the wisp. Yeah, from a from a ways away, and like it came from behind a tree. It was just this little like dancing my, my light. Bad. <laughs> yeah, that sounds terrifying. That's my bad. Let me change it in the temperature. Let's check, shall we? Because if there are any like unmarked sanitarium people here, the carrot cake is gonna be what brings them out. Oh, it's not even carrot cake. This is traditional German. Oh no, no, it's a traditional Italian oven baked cake. Ooh. And this I got for Christmas. So you think, boo. It's not, it's not Christmas. You are correct. But its expiration date is 7-31-2020. Oh, so it should still be good. And I was yep. like, oh, wait, I still have this. I just never had an opportunity to do it. And I thought, what better time to eat a cake around people who we're were starved, starved to, death. to death, right? Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Look, we're sharing it, all we're right? Sharing it. So, we're gonna, I, have a, I have a fork for you. Thank we're you. just going to take turns. Yes. Made in Italy. Oh yeah. That's a cake right there. Ooh. Nice. Ooh. <laughs> All right, we're gonna pour it on top. All right. Does this make you unhappy, anyone? That uh, some of you may have starved to death, and we're out here eating cake imported from Italy. Or does it make you happy because we are providing food as long as you come up and yeah? I mean, say if, it, if it makes you unhappy, uh, come say something, express your anger. Or we prefer if you came up here, you could uh, enjoy some of it yourself. Mm -hmm. Just uh, over by the screen light here. Communication is key. It really is in any relationship. I think that this is a relationship, mm -hmm. right? us and and you. We're pulling our weight. Yeah, I mean, come on. Feels very one side. Why am I struggling with this? Did those lights just die. The blue ones? Uh huh? Maybe. Uh, if you go press that button, 
I didn't notice that happening. You'd think I would since I'm staring at it the whole time. I love that you didn't notice that, though. Yeah. Maybe, and the camera will, will, will see it, I'm sure. All right, let's describe this cake. Italian milk, creamy butter, natural flavors, no preservatives. Let's prove both of these things are working. Ooh, moist and rich. Plump Turkish sultana raisins. Candied orange and citrus peels from, okay, Calabria and Sicilia, Italy. All right. I mean, if that doesn't make you want to eat it, I don't know. <laughs> yes, come, come eat my cake. I'll tell you what, as far as cakes go, it isn't great. But as far as cakes that have been sitting around for six months go, it's probably one of the best I've ever eaten. <laughs> Seven months now. I don't know, you gotta love ancient frosting. Well, it doesn't even have frosting, it's just a, it's a sweet bread. No, you get your own cake. Mm -hmm. Better not take that tone with the ghost. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone want some? Bet you're kind of hungry being dead for so long. Did you say it was 76 when you walked over there before? Uh, when we started, it was 76. Now it's about 69. Yeah, okay. <laughs> giggle, giggle. <laughs> Shut up. All right. Oh, I've got a question for you, Ghost. Yeah, Ghost. Was that a joke in your time? <laughs> 69, dudes. Which one were, oh, how many off this side? Yeah, we should keep track of that. We should keep track. I mean, what did people, this is, I've never ghost hunted before. Right? I've always kind of wanted to. I don't know what usually happens. Like, usually it's, you know, you wander around a room, you use some, some stuff with flashlights where you unscrew it, and then you like, just touch it and it'll activate. And I didn't bring a flashlight that does that. We're not so much, so ghost hunters usually oh. go through a lot of different things to try to find a ghost. Yeah. What we're doing is more like ghost fishing. Yeah. There's more. Sit back, relax, see what comes to you. By the way, I encourage that term to like gain traction and mm -hmm. become a thing people do more often. We're not ghost hunters. We're ghost fishers. Mm -hmm. I'll accept that. I'm a, um, hold on. Bring a six pack of beer, bring your friends, and just like, you know, sit around and uh, see if anything bites. Oh, wait, mosquito. Ghosts get food. Mosquitoes do not. Yeah, mosquitoes. Mind your business. Yeah. Why, I oughta. There you go. Uh, your side is closest to you. Thank you. All right, well, let's leave it out. It's all yours. I mean, do leave us some for later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get hungry. That really is not bad. It's sort of, it's like an overgrown muffin. It's weird, right? It's, it's not something I'd buy every day, but it is kind of fun. Yeah. Mm. And it is sort of like a, like, you remember it six months later Christmas gift. Yeah. Like, oh yeah, I do have this, don't I? Same thing happened with that hot stuff that uh, I had. Oh, God. So I got given a, a gift of, um, have you ever seen the show or the, the YouTube uh, channel? A little bit of movement. Um, Good Mythical Morning. They had an episode where they, they rated like the spiciest candies. And as a gift, I got all of those candies. And I didn't really want to try. I like spicy things. I didn't want to try them. And finally, after about a year, uh, we got together and we tried them, and wow! Oh my god! It was uh, it was an experience. I think I tried a total of three. Yeah, we after didn't... the first one, I was like, I'm done. I don't want to do this anymore. I think I still have them because I'm like, oh, I don't want to throw them away. It's too much fun. But like, I'm never gonna try them again. So I, you know what? I am gonna throw them away. No, 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 no! Don't throw them away. Mix in a couple of regular candies. Oh. And then you'll know which ones are which. Well, so you want. will select those, and then show how much better oh, that you are chocolate in spice. Oh, oh, oh my God! Oh, that—that that was a problem. It was like half an hour of just, and it was such a small piece. I'm like, I constantly order four stars. I don't really have a problem with five stars, yeah. and this murdered me. Yeah, it's like the hottest. I've never been like a world. competitive hot sauce person, yeah. but this still was just like. 
much more intense than I was expecting. Yeah, I was sucking an ice cube for like an hour. I figured hot candies were going to be like the little league of incredibly hot stuff you could <laughs> taste. Nope, we were wrong. We were so, so wrong. <laughs> One time a friend of mine um, was trying to, uh, they, they actually pulled that trick mm. where they had this like really hot stuff they'd been given as a gift. And, uh, we found out like halfway through as like one person actually like threw up. Oh no. It was so hot. <laughs> um, we found out halfway through that they had not actually eaten any. They had just like been getting away with not doing it. <laughs> now they didn't want to. So we made them finish the entire rest of it. Oh, um, oh no. But also their, their dog was really excited a little bit like dropped on the floor <laughs> and she went up and lapped it up and then was crying for no. an hour and we kept putting like bowls of ice cream down no. for her to look at. Oh my god, that poor dog. Oh man. Do any of you ghosts have thoughts on that? Any ghosts had dogs? Uh or any ghost dogs? Yeah. I, yeah. I would love to meet a ghost doggy. Oh he's a good doggy. You guys heard that, right? There's a little bark. There's a bark where we're talking about dogs in the background. Did you not hear it? Oh, don't worry, we'll play it again. You good doggy. You good doggy. You good doggy. Well, that's exciting. However, I'm not ready to call it an actual ghost dog just yet for two reasons. One, there were real animals in the area, and it's entirely possible that while we were speaking in stupid baby talk about dogs, an actual animal barked and we just didn't hear it because we were making mouth noises. Two, I've never seen a report of a ghost dog in this area, so it's unlikely that we were the first people to discover one. Not impossible, but unlikely. We continued to ask questions for a while, but we didn't get any results. So we decided to do one more lap around the graveyard to see if our presence, our questioning, or maybe even our cake has stirred up any activity. And while that was happening, we kept hearing this noise. I'm pretty sure that is a barn owl. But at the time, we had no idea what it was. We knew it was a bird, and we knew that it was very, very spooky. The audio you're hearing does not do it justice. When you have a couple of those things above you in a graveyard at night, it'll rattle you. But we persevered. Died in 1905. Gone, but not forgotten. Okay, now we've got this one, which is Olek Johnson, died June 2nd, 1903, aged 18 years. 1958, had to bury the other people. And you had the audacity younger. to ask him how that felt. I did. <laughs> Nothing there. Gunder, Gunder Gunderson. <laughs> I'm looking for something more sustained, you know? Mm -hmm. Something that may at least make a beep or stay sustained for a while. Yeah. This one's the one that says husband. Where'd the path go? <laughs> oh, yeah. there it is. There is no path. We are lost forever. <laughs> Welcome to hell. Now my money is on either the 13-year-old or the one that we actually saw the pieces of that had been destroyed recently. Yeah, my money is we won't get any. Well, yeah, I mean, that's the smart money, but if <laughs> we have to put money, money on a horse. That's true, that's true. Was there anything over here? Uh, as if I can see with the camera. Oh, no, that's one of the trails that you <laughs> yeah, definitely didn't want to follow. Like, you know what? No, I'm not feeling that today. Sorry about that, buddy. <laughs> Our bad. He's bad, actually. See if you can get a little bit of light on this one. Raymond Infant, son of B, B, and O, A. Huh. Born October 19th, 1911. Died November 3rd. Yeah, we got a couple more this way. And then those four 
one over there, uh. and two there. And if we're close to you, uh, and uh, you want to say something to us, come talk to us. Oh, oh what was that? Good question. Ooh. This one has two. Amelia, wife of O.F. Carlson, in 1843 to 1914. Amelia F., wife of P.O. Lancaster, 1851 to 1915. Well, the temperature is dropping, but <laughs> the only dying. by one degree every five minutes. Oh no, what will we do when this goes out? <laughs> you will not have a light. And I'm just going to turn this off. Check this out. What are you going to do now? Not be able to read the EMF reader. Good point, good point, good point. Well, I think that's going to do it. I think we, we, we got just the oh, coins. Oh, yeah, coins, 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 coins. I very nearly, on our way back to the car, like leaned down to tie my shoe on this and realized what, what I was about to do. Nope. Oh. All right, well, that's a bust, unless we don't make it back to the car. I think that's going to be it. Unfortunately, we didn't find anything. But uh, we did have a lot of fun and ate some delicious cake. We so. did, and also we do have an offering. Oh, there we go. Rest in peace. Nope. No, nothing? <laughs> nothing? That's a shame. All right. See you guys. Bye bye. Trick. We had a lot of fun doing this. And if you would like to see us do it again, hit that like button, subscribe. There's a bell notification icon thing there somewhere. I mean, poke all those things. It'll help YouTube sort of get us out there and then other people will watch and we can try to get more funding for our trips. And that way we can leave the Pacific Northwest and go to wherever you guys are to your haunted locations, maybe meet up, bring you in on the investigation. Who knows? It's still pretty early on into this whole thing. If you have a location you want us to check out, please leave a comment down in the comment section. And until the next time, be good, stay safe. That just activate? It just beeped a hell of a lot. Yeah, what was that? I don't know. It always happens when the camera's off. Turn the camera back on real the quick. The camera's back on. We were just giving up and, ex you know, like we expected nothing would happen. And as I walked this way, yeah. beep, 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 beep is what happened right there. Yeah. Did you hear that? Cell phone received a message. Oh. <laughs> All right. That, that solves that problem. See you guys. <laughs>